Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at a very complicated question called fire hose. It's a senior question, senior three question, but I think it has a uh, level of senior four. It is really difficult and uh, I remember if you like get full score on this question, you are granted to go to CCO. Yeah, so this one is not easy. And uh, this one, this question actually uses really smart techniques that doesn't um, doesn't used often like BFS or DFS in CCC computation. It's more used in a computation called Usico. So Usico is really fun. It's like American Olympiad. And you guys can check Carrara's video and he has like really good content about Usico. So actually I learned this, the technique to solve this question from him. Yeah. So let me first read the question and uh, you can give you s yourself a moment to think about this question. This is fire on Euro Street in your neighborhood. The street forms a perfect circle and the circumference of the circle is a million. There are each houses on the street. The address of each house is clockwise uh, arc lens from the northernmost point of the circle. The address of the house at the nor northernmost point of the circle is zero. So we have a circle, uh, I think it's a circle, it doesn't matter with its shape. So uh, zero is here and uh, it has a length of one million. So you are, you have, you also have special fire hoses which follow the curve of the street. However, you wish to keep the length of the longest hose you require to the minimum. Your task is to play K fire hydrants on the street so the maximum length of hoses required to connect a house to a fire hydrant is as small as possible. In specification, it's so long I don't want to read it again. So it's basically uh, it's basically what it is basically it is it is basically uh, it gives you a number of house numbers. The, the circle will always be length 1 billion, doesn't change. And uh, at each following each length, we contain each position of ho houses. So let me quickly demonstrate the sample. So we have 1 at 0 and uh, 67,000, 68,000, 77,000 and two fire hydrants. So we are uh, trying to place a fire hydrant wisely so we can use a minimum amount of uh, hoses. So if you, what is hose here? Let me quickly demonstrate. Let me use the color of blue because blue represents water. So suppose that there's a hose. Sorry, there, that's a hydrant. And to connect house with hydrant, we're gonna use a hose. Maybe, yeah, and this hose can connect to every houses. But if you connect too many ho houses, uh, the lens is getting bigger. But we are not trying to find the least number of houses. We are trying to find the least number of, uh, sorry, or the minimum amount of hose. Sorry, oh, free. Sorry, let me do this again. We are try not trying to find the minimum amount of hadrons. We are trying to find the smallest length of hosts possible. So it doesn't matter how, mo how many hadrons we place. We have two. Uh, it just matter with like the host lens. And what we're gonna do is place the host wisely, use uh, as many as we want, just to achieve the effect of uh, effect of uh, least host. So if we put a hydrant here, it, it requires virtually no lens. So zero. And here you place one here 5,000, 5,000, 1,000. So that's for the sample. And uh, I hope you understand it in your brain. And now, if you try to use to form an algorithm to magically place those hadrons on the circle. 
I mean, if you can actually do that, it means you're a genius. But I'm not a genius, and uh, I'm gonna use stupid way, or I just couldn't find any smart way to do that. So, if you think, if we try out every lens between zero and ten, uh, one million, at least we're gonna get the uh, the lenses that gonna work. So suppose maybe our lens that at 5,000 is working, we loop through from 0 to 1 million. I know it's crazy, yeah. Um, but yeah, let's try to do that first. And uh, once we reach 5,000, we're gonna know that 5,001 works. 5,002 works. 5,003 works as well. But you know, uh, if you just gonna loop everything through up to 1 million, if uh, if that optimum number or the least number is here, it's gonna take way too much time and it's like impossible. So, what can make our stupid method less stupid? Or we can, uh, we can brute force this question in uh, on brute force way is binary search. Maybe uh, you learn binary search in AP computer science, but I promise you it is like quite different, but it's quite similar, but it's quite different. So in the AP CSA one, you just, just loop, uh, trying to find a particular number in a sorted index, but here we are trying to find a particular uh, point that is minimum or uh, of the of the workable lenses. So, I mean, for workable lenses, I mean, if you use that lens and it works in the given situation, then it's a workable scenario. But we are trying to find the uh, the least host lens that works so what we can do is we take the middle point and we check if it's workable so if this point is workable it means everything above it is workable as well and there's no point to check uh, everything above that because we're trying to find the minimum one not the ma maximum so we're gonna ignore that and uh, continue look for our minimum point in this sub part of the scene. So we're still gonna take the middle point. Uh, we're gonna check if it's workable. What if it's not workable? It means uh, anything below that, anything smaller than that doesn't work because if a bigger than number than, uh, than perhaps a random number here doesn't work, there's no way this number will work. So, I mean, we are assuming we place those hydrants in the best way, and we will get into that later, and we will get into how to verify if a thing is workable or not. So let's, uh, if it's this one, it's not work workable, we can just ignore the bottom part and look for the things in the middle. And we can continue to continually do this thing until we find the minimum point. And that's what we're gonna, what we're gonna do in this question. We're gonna loop through or binary search every possible uh, every possible host lens and come up with the most optimal solution. Or sorry, the most, uh, sorry, the least uh, lens. Yeah, okay, so after we uh, discuss the binary search part, we're gonna uh, try to come up with an algorithm to see how this gonna uh, play out uh, how we gonna verify them to verify whether th they are workable or not so remember our scene is a circle and uh, and uh, there are points on that so the scene actually makes this question complicated uh, is it's a circle, but we can solve that issue by making it 
not a circle anymore. So let's say if we start from zero and uh, end to one uh, to the last house, and maybe there is house one, house two. So if we have a maximum uh, length, then we can, sorry, wait, if I have a host number, so let's say our current host number is 550, and so we're gonna place the uh, uh, fire hydrant in the middle, uh, sorry, 50, uh, 50 units away from our current one. So it would be like this. And our range that our current hydrants can cover is 50 times to 100. So when we get into a house that is beyond range, we just place a new hydrant as a position. Maybe here. We place a hydrant here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But you know, it's a circle. What if uh, we can place this one, a hydrant here, and this one will connect to uh, the first one maybe just by one unit and it is uh, a special case so to deal with that we're gonna start from every index not just O every index and we can check if any of them work if any of them work then it means our code works sorry our lens work and after we repeat repetitively conduct this uh, procedure like 20 times or maybe 200 times just a certain amount of time we will reach to uh, a certain number and that number is our solution and we're just gonna output it output that and yeah okay let's uh, let me show the code with you so they can have a better understanding okay uh, I'll come back and as you can see, my code is in C++, but don't quiz the video if you don't like C++, as I'm just trying to use my code to convey you the methodology. Yeah, I hope you can stick around to understand this. You can code your own code or your own solution is your preferred language, uh, but I'm using C++ here. Uh, okay, let's get into the code. I firstly just create a vector of int called houses. And in my main method, I just uh, give input to those houses. And after that, I sorted the houses. So houses are in order from the smallest to the biggest. So yeah, because we are going through it in an order and I think it matters. Uh, and we're gonna use an if statement to see if our host number is already bigger than the uh, the houses, if it's bigger, it means we we are not gonna use any uh, we are not gonna use any host. Wait, am I making am I making a mistake? Uh, wait, it's hydrant number if it's bigger than the house number. I always confuse the host and hydrant. So if you, if the hydrant number is bigger than the house number, it means every house can be assigned with a hydrant. And particularly, no host is needed, so it's gonna output zero. Otherwise, we're gonna implement the binary search. So maybe you saw it's really complicated, but yeah. But in the end, it's only like eight lines of code. We're gonna use, uh, we're gonna search this uh, from zero to one million plus one. I mean, one million work, but one million plus one just make it safe. And if our uh, we still have a range instead of a certain number, uh, we continue. We take the middle mid, mid uh, middle one and verify if that thing is uh, workable or not. If it's workable, then anything above uh, beyond that one doesn't work. Uh, it's already like proven workable. And since we are looking for the minimum number, we can ignore that. Otherwise, we our minimum. So min equals to mid, so we can shift our like uh, lower bound to the middle. And when we uh, found our when we find our uh, expected answer, we just 
I'll put high plus one. I'm pl plusing one because I'm minus one here. And yeah, let's get to the most like complicated part uh, of this question, which is to verify it's workable or not. So I created two methods. It's like a parent method, a children method. I'm not sure if I'm calling them right, but yeah. So I'm gonna call this sub method in this method or function. So I use a for loop to try to start from each index. And if any of them work, it means this uh, lens work. So if which bow position returns true, then we're just gonna uh, output true. As, uh, sorry, we're gonna return true. Otherwise, it's false. So here, uh, the rest is the rest of hydrants, and the current host is our uh, host's position. We're gonna use a for loop to calculate uh, uh, our starting index to the end. And after we calculating that, we're gonna calculate from the beginning index to the our current index. So let me make uh, make this clear with this graph. So suppose this is our begin uh, zero, and this is our beginning index. So we take this part out. We calculate first, and then we take this part and put it on the back. So we extend our uh, this part longer so we can see if anything can be covered. Yeah, that's my strategy and uh, let's see how exactly I verify everything in the code. Okay, so int i start from the starting index and smaller than the house sizes. If the distance between the current host, sorry, it's a mistake, it's not current host. Uh, very stupid. It's it should be called maybe current hydrants. Yeah, I was making it really confusing uh, by calling it a host. So if our uh, if the distance between the current hydrants and the current house number is bigger than the uh, maximum lens, I mean our current lens or maximum lens can cover, it means we're gonna uh, use a new hydrant and then we're gonna plant it uh, to the position of house number plus the lens number. So it is just, uh, so if we find uh, a house couldn't be covered by the previous one, we're just gonna plant it here. So. Uh, if I plant it here, it may cover anything follows. Otherwise, if the rest or the rest of hydrants isn't enough, we're gonna return false. It means we cannot cover the entire thing with sufficient hydrants. And then we're gonna do the similar thing again, but this time we're gonna uh, calculate from 0 to our current index. We are putting this to the, uh, so we are cutting this part to the end of like, wait, let me, let me explain this better here. This looks like a frog in, in some way. So if I choose to, uh, let me make a better graph. So if you choose point B as your starting index, maybe here, this one is A, B, C, D, E. So we, we're gonna uh, go through B, C, D at first. Wait, yeah, we're gonna go through B, C, D at first, then A to D. And remember, if we place the uh, hydro here, this one, if the hose is long enough, can also cover A. So on a line, so B will be here, and D will be here, and A, we are cutting it from uh, D 
D and we will place them maybe here and uh, B yeah so if we place the hydrant here it can uh, get to A okay let's get back to my code and whenever we have not enough holes we're just gonna return false otherwise we uh, decrease our host by one and place a new shoot its hydrants ah if we don't have enough hydrants we're just gonna return false otherwise we increment the uh, sorry we decrease the hi uh, hi hydrogen sorry hydrants number by one and place a new hydrants at current location plus length dd and if everything uh, work out we're gonna return true let's try to use a uh, sample test case firstly we're gonna build the project wait yeah and as you can see 5000 it is what we expected okay let's try to place uh, try to run this in the grader submit and as you can see every test case passes and it didn't take us too much time so uh, it means our binary search worked out pretty well if you are using like brute force we start from zero start from one two three four five six seven it will take, a, take us forever on certain test cases and we will not achieve uh, full score and get into CCO and that's how nice uh, yeah so I hope you understand this question and you are able to code your own solution so let me do a, one last brief review for the binary search so when you are looking for a maximum number or minimum number the first thing should uh, came up to your mind is binary search so when you get to a position where you verify it if it's possible then anything beyond that or like if you are searching for the minimum point and if the, uh, the current middle point or the average point is possible then you know anything beyond the average point is workable or like uh, then you can ignore anything that is for sure workable and continue to do this again and again until you uh, close your uh, range into one number and that one number one specific number is the solution you end up with and uh, yeah so binary search like in general just take much less time than uh, brute force so I hope you learn something from some from this video. There are other videos in this channel about CCC uh, competition, so you can check them out as well. I explain BFS and other few stuff. So thank you for watching. Bye.